What up, everyone? It's your boy, Satemangala, the Reverend of the Revolution, welcoming you to another edition of Your Daily Revolution, the podcast that helps you to wake up, turn your brain on, and to prosper in every part of your life, every single day. Today's topic, you reap what you sow. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Today I'm finishing up a beautiful day today. Saturday night, actually headed to the store, getting ready to go shopping to get some Sunday food. And I wanna just recount this day and why it means so much to me. Woke up this morning, my two boys have been begging to come to the gym with me. Daddy, can we please go to the gym with you? I'm like, sure, get ready, let's roll. So we go hit up CrossFit, we do this four rounds. It took me about 41 minutes to get this just crazy workout and it was awesome felt great took my boys we got smoothies right came home got them ready and we had like five hours of basketball three basketball games today one was a nail biter another one was actually a nail biter we went two and one today after the game we came home we went to a church carnival a fundraiser for our scouts and then uh, after that we came home and i just talked with my wife for a full hour in the car we talked about our boys about the church we're in call it a ward, right? we're talking about business, where we're out with clients, family, and now I'm headed to the store to get me some dinner for tomorrow. What will I have for dinner? Because Sunday's on my day now. Why is this so positive for me? Brothers and sisters, many years ago, when I was broke, not broken, when I was depressed, but not in despair, I knew deep down in my heart, I wanted to live a specific and certain type of life. That life looked like the day that I'm living today. Present with my wife and my sons, supporting them in their own games. Allowing my wife to go once or twice a week, she drives almost an hour to go play in her volleyball basketball leagues. Time with my goddess every week. Time with my boys every week time doing what I love to do for my job, for my work, every day and providing a living. I love it. That's why this is so significant because I have looked at this day, I have seen this day, I've seen these days and this type of lifestyle. And why does this matter to you? Because if you can see it and you can believe it, you can definitely achieve it. That is not some phrase that I made up. That is one of the quotes that goes around for a long time. But you gotta be willing to see it. I love the story about Walt Disney, right? Where this reporter crawls into the bed with Walt and Walt's telling him about Disney World. And Walt even, never even saw Disney World built. And someone says, man, it's a, it's a shame that Walt couldn't have seen Disney. Right, years later when Disney's was built. And, and the reporter says, no, we have it because Walt saw it. I saw this day, and so I began to plant the seeds. I began to do the work every single day because I had the courage to make a declaration. This is what I want. This is why it matters to me. Now, I get it. Some men, some men out there, they don't want this, right? They don't want, the, they, they'd rather just make gobs and gobs of money. They could care less about their wife and kids. If that's you, you better wake up, homie. You better wake up as a man. And even as a woman, wake up. You can only reap where you have sown. I've sown seeds by doing the work every day. This reminds me of a parable that Jesus taught in the New Testament about this parable of the sower, a story of a sower. Now, when I was young, I, I heard the story of the sower, like, like a, a person who sews clothes, like a sewing machine. No, a sower is a man or a woman who walks about and plants seeds. And some seeds fall by the wayside. And some seeds fall on stony ground. And some seeds fall on fertile, prepared soil. And all these seeds that fall down, they sprout. They actually begin to bring forth some type of harvest. But the ones that fell by the wayside, right, choked by the thorns, the ones that fell on the stone, well, when the sun grew hot, it scorched the fruit and because there was no roots, like it died. But the seeds that were sown in the fertile soil, it grew. And then Jesus says, he that hath 
ears to hear, let him hear. And I can hear the disciples, Jesus say, well, why are you all speaking in these weird stories? Because Jesus said, if there is a man or a woman who is ready to hear, he or she will hear. If they're ready to see, he or she will see. This matters to you because if you are looking, you can find the gifts and the lessons. What does this mean to you? You can only reap where you have sown, which means you can only get where you have given where you have studied and prepared yourself and increased your craft and mastered your craft in your job. I remember this applied so well to sales. As a salesman, as a manager, I would recruit men and women to come and knock doors and learn how to sell door to door. And I'll tell them, all the guys are looking. Like we, we plant in the spring, in the fall and the spring, and we harvest in the summer. That was our season of knocking. And you get better in the fall and the spring, like you master the crap in the fall and the spring, and then you reap in the summer. Reaping was simply money in the bank account, like making money. And the money was always tied to something, right? A house, paying off student loans, buying that new, the new car, a home, buying the wedding ring for your wife. So you can only reap where you've sown. The question is for you is, what type of seeds are you sowing today in your life? You are always sowing seeds. Get this, you are always sowing seeds. Every thought, every word, every doubt, every fear, every action, every action you don't take, every spiritual discipline or lack of spiritual discipline, every date night, every word to your children, you are always sowing seeds. So how can you tell what type of seeds you sow? Look at the result of your life. You sowed and you have reaped. Take a look at your physical body. If your body is weak and out of shape, underweight, overweight, just not optimal for performance and for power, you sowed those seeds. Nobody forced you to down the excess calories, chocolate cake, ice cream. No one forced you to stuff your face. No one forced you to stay home and sleep in instead of going to the gym or going on the trail or going to the pool. You sowed those seeds. On the flip side, if your body's healthy and powerful, you sowed those seeds, congratulations. Which means what? Today you can begin planting new seeds. Today you can begin to sow new actions, new thoughts, new words, new commitments, new desires, new goals. When it comes to business, you sowed what you got. When I lost everything back in the day, it's because I sowed those seeds. I took responsibility. I take responsibility. Not the economy's fault, not the bank's fault, not the banking mortgage world's fault. Me. Which told me what? I could plant new seeds. I could desire something different and I could plant new seeds. What does this mean for you? Regardless of your past, regardless of your present, you can plant new seeds. Yes, you can. Are you willing? Because you can only reap where you have sown. What does it look like to sow? Sowing is about daily words, daily actions, daily commitments. Sowing is the things you do every day because sowing meaning the, the seeds that you sow in the ground. And I love the New Testament that says, God will not be mocked. Whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he reap. So you never sow a banana seed and get strawberries. It doesn't happen. You plant bananas, you get bananas. You plant apples, you get apples. You plant kindness, you get kindness. You plant hard work, faith, vision, in increasing your skill sets, that's what you get. And know this, whatever you sow today will give you the reaping and the harvest tomorrow. So what will you sow today? What seeds must you sow today to produce the harvest you desire tomorrow? inside of your business and your bank account? What skill sets must you increase? What seeds must you sow for your marriage to level up? For you as a parent to level up and get the results you desire? What seeds must you sow today and plant? What words, what desires, what declarations, and what 
things must you root out? What thorns, what poisons must you get rid of out of your soil so that you can bring forth an abundant harvest of plenty? Brothers and sisters, you will reap what you sow. God will not be mocked. This is why I sow every day exercise and nutrition. This is why I sow every day reading scriptures and listening to powerful spiritual works. This is why I sow every day, every single day, time with my wife and my kids. I don't care how tired I'm. There are days where I'm exhausted. I still make it to their bedroom. I still kneel at their bedside and pray with them. And we, we share gratitude and, and we celebrate moments. And yes, this is why every day I plant and sow seeds of business, of value creation within my skill sets and gifts and talents so that I can bring forth and put money in my bank account based upon the value that I gave to the marketplace so that I can do the things that I desire. I desire going to Disney with my kids monthly. I desire taking my wife to nice places for dinner. I desire being able to contribute we contributed a good, a significant amount of money tonight to our scouting fund, and it was fun. It was awesome. Brothers and sisters, you will reap what you sow. Will you choose to sow some new seeds today? What seeds must you begin to sow today so you can bring about the desired harvest tomorrow? You reap what you sow. And you are in charge. This is your boy, Satem Ali, reminding you if you're going to create a life of real radical results, a life that you love, it requires you to get into a relentless pursuit with the ruthless commitment to pay the piper every single day so that you can get to the top of your mountains where your prize, promised lands, and possibilities are waiting, just waiting for you. The revolution has begun. For more info on joining the revolution and living your greatest life of prosperity today, go to www.yourdailyrevolution.com and join us in waking up, turning your brain on, and prospering today.